Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Max's Modded Let's Play. In today's episode, we're going to be carrying on from where we left off. So, in the last episode, we managed to get lava generators. But we didn't have conduits in said gold. chest I've been mining and yeah I've covered quite a bit we've got all the way up to triple compressed cobblestone then we got double main single but we got loads of ore so we've got iron lead silver gold which was the main one copper tin ferrous and aluminium as well as a grand total of 46 diamonds a few stacks of redstone well a stack and a bit of redstone blocks 31 coal blocks not much lapis thought I'd get more than that but the main thing was three ender pearls I managed to get some looting done as well all the other stuff I've actually chucked into the loot bag recycler nothing really of use so like before come up here and it's a case of chuck every single ore that I don't need in here and it's just gonna go and fill this up which is quite nice now just for the temp I'm just going to move that there. I don't need it at the moment. So, like it was earlier, we're making pot phased gold. Uh, probably look straight at it. Probably. No, it's not in there. Probably in one of the chests. I've got the energetic dust. somewhere around here, I know I had it probably me going insane I've got in here no I have misplaced it ok I am overly confused because I swear I literally just had it probably look straight at it you know if I press R and then press T downstairs okay it's got to be downstairs okay yeah you can see it that particle effect means it is down here I am just forgetful there we are it's right here. I'm just blind. So, recipe of this before was that. And if I quickly press U on the ender pearl, is there any way I can get a huge bonus out of it? is just to probably just grind it down and smelt it. But yeah. That was about two, three hours of mining, maybe even more. I just count the time. But that was on and off as I'm recording this. It is the next day, so yeah if I do feel a bit like seem a bit like head or still a bit drained yeah nope. I am 
not really feeling myself. Might as well actually. No, I still gotta go. No, I don't. Sometimes it gets stuck. Doesn't bother me though. Still can't believe that. Also, if you guys have noticed that the videos are getting a bit more spread out, it's I'm trying to balance it around when I feel like I can record. Because recently I have found out that I have a issue. Not well issue so to speak but something to do with my physical health it's something that is out of my control and I will be dealing with it I have a vitamin D deficiency in other words my vitamin D is low and The easiest way to pull it really is my energy, my immunity is at a low and the way I absorb sunlight is different to most people. So as one person could spend a day out in the sun and absorb quite a bit of vitamin D my body does not absorb it that easily so therefore I have to spend or may take somebody an hour to get a nice amount of vitamin D I'd have to spend maybe like three four hours to get even a, a, about half if not three quarters the amount which yeah uh, it's at the end of the day, it can't be helped. It just... At the end of the day, it's at least I've found out that I've got it. But quite early on, I am on vitamin D supplements. So I've got... Uh, vitamin D tablets. That's gonna bother me. Uh, the cable's gonna connect. Uh, well, I can probably use a wrench. Do I have it on me? Or do I leave it upstairs in the chest? And now my mouse. Nope. Here we go. So, technically, we have our first, like, really main kind of like power generation. Lava power. Came up here for the wrench, which should be, yeah, present hammer, present wrench, yeah. Apart from that, I want to make a bank. Five k. I need coal dust to energetic alloy, or I could skip and go up to this one, which is quite expensive. Like no joke expensive. <sighs> so probably the best bet would just be jump up to a double layered. Which is five K. I'll probably just stick with one case at the moment because that is quite simple to make.
so quickly head down here and to stop them from corresponding with one another but I didn't want to press shift forgot to let go of shift And now uh, place it in the wrong area. There we go. So. This is getting me enough power. I could go there and just do disabled. Which means I'll just be able to pump it that way. So for having... Ooh. Three, four, five, six, so that's six, twelve, twenty four generators. Not bad, kind of like area to put it. Got enough power to last me quite some time. So, now that we've got power, we want to go to a quarry where we can use that power to mine huge holes in the ground to get more resources probably a lot quicker or a lot easier easily are so one of those ways is we could go into either build craft or apply logistics uh, not apply logistics extra utilities getting those I get those mods every now and then jumbled up kind of rare but it happens. Redstone, I need the copper, the gold, and gold nuggets. Might as well take the all. Anything else? Torch. And I'll leave all those resources down here for now because I do not need them. If I head up here, I need to go into Billcraft, which is going to be one of the main builds. Uh, one builds. <laughs> yep, one of the main mods. <laughs> that I'm going to be using so, the quarry quite expensive, yes worth it, most definitely so to get this to work I'm also going to be doing a lot crafting not just that I need to head back down here because I have forgotten conduits the item conduit that I need as well as a conduit binder I am just in a just low energy Just grabbing a little sugar rush. I have um, sweets on my desk. They just give me a little sugar buzz to keep my energies up. So, I want the pulsating iron, I want the diamonds, and over here I should have some more. Probably gonna have diamonds all over the place. Oh, right there. Level 14. Wow, I got a stack. I was not expecting that, actually. Should have been. More pulsing, more iron. Um, looking for something, and I've completely forgotten what. Uh -huh. 
Oh, there it is, conduit binder. I need more iron. Might as well. Uh, pass me the stack of iron. I leave half that. No. I think I actually chucked a load of iron in here to smelt. Last time I was on, I can only go and check. Ooh, yeah, I was making. Oh, I thought that was in bar then. Doesn't matter. Just gonna grab some iron. I should have enough gold to do what I need to do. If I don't, then. to see and I could also start aiming for a um, extra utilities quarry that'd be quite good because then I could go on top of the nether and I could quarry out a huge area. So pump loads of lava on top of the nether. So I'm going to have the generators, etc. And then just let that run for a few hours. Then go around, drain up all the excess lava, go from there really. But another way to do that is using cursed earth. I could use that and pistons to generate a huge mob farm. Same with fans, I could do that as well. I could use fans and cursed earth. There's many ways to make a farm. If you're willing to spend the resources, you can come up with millions of designs. The only limitation is your mind. So, on top of that, let's come back in here, in this chest, I need the gold, uh, uh, wood and glass, and I need to grab myself some cobble, which I should have a few stacks, there's 62, this should be enough. Hopefully, time will let you tell. Let's craft that and craft that. So we need two iron. That's seven gears. No, no, I don't. I don't know, it's free iron. Yeah, it's seven. Let's get the easiest part out of the way. Done pickaxe. And for those who ever wanted to read that, it just means because I've got Tinker's Tool Tips or whatever it is. Just means I can't use them. So, let's begin off. So, I need stone gears. What the? Anyway, where was I? Craft. Nope, I need more iron. I 
then we need to upgrade four of them. two of them. And then Chunk Destroyer. So, on top of that You can see I've got loads of gold, iron, diamonds, and I even have a stack of glass. I'm going to be making a few of these. So we have chests. Iron chests. Gold chests. I know the recipe off by heart. Diamond chests. On top of that as well. I have the iron, I have the copper. Uses of gold nuggets. We want that. Reason being we need more banks. Gold. Blimey. Now, as well as that. Don't need it. No, I pressed it. Yeah. So, the recipe of conduit is that. And we got plenty to last us now. So, as you can see, I've got iron chests, I've got diamond chests. And I also have banks. So, make this quicker and easier. Come over here. And I'm just going to empty my inventory and sort it. So, I need the banks. I need the conduits. I need that. And I'm just gathering up everything that I need. And because my game can be a bit glitchy, and so on and so forth. I am going to catch you over in the Mayan Dimension. So, catch you guys in a bit. So, as you can see, I've got a few resources and some that I forgot to bring slash make. Before I do anything, like I say, I have done off camera work here. Not a lot. I will quickly show you. So, for those who don't believe that I did it off camera and I didn't cheat it in, no, I did forget that though. Don't know how, but I did. So, if I come down here, you can actually see it to the right bit laggy while I'm down here, understandable really. You can see that I have these. These go for a distance, they didn't finish one of them, but I go to the end, turn around, come back. So I started Yeah, I started down the other end. I was mine along and thought I could use the hammer. Well, I did one strip mine here. 
or is it here? I don't know. But I strip mined fully that way. And then I realised I had the hammer on me. I thought I'd left it back at base. So since I placed torches to my right while I'm mining, I came back, placed some torches, I went back that way. Then I mined through well into a cave which then came back. Brought me further up here. But apart from that, yeah. It's about a few hours mining. And I did loads of caving. Yeah, you name it, I've done it. So, one of the main items that I forgot to craft was land markers. You use I craft four. It's just easier. So, if I head over to where I'm going to set the quarry up, I'll show you how we do this. Just grabbing a quick drink. And there we go. So, the quarry, by default, keep two junks loaded. Keeps quite a decent sized quarry up and running. But me being me, I don't like to keep it simple. So, I need land markers. So I need redstone torches, and here's the land marker. And you do only need three, but I prefer to work with four. So, gently, I'm just going to mine this. Doesn't matter. So, let's run up to this water pool. We want to get to where there's no water going to leak in. So that'd be either. This block, or it could be further along. I want it as big as I can possibly go for now. So, I don't like working with evens as well. So, land marker one. Um, okay, go here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now, I'm not even bothering to count at this point. Because I'm only digging one, I've got 22, 23 blocks. And to make it fair, I'll place the dirt up there. Whoa. And when that number gets to 23, we'll stop. See, I only need to place three. And I can also place a fourth one and do like that. Each to their own, really. So, all that means is I've got to go around and gather up four markers. The quarry is. Dot dot dot. And we'll 
keep the six chunks loaded. And to help that out, I think it's F9. Here we go. So you got one, three, so four, five, six, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because you can see I've gone really close up to the board, which I didn't actually expect. I could have made it a nine by nine if I really wanted to. I think that's a bit extreme. So, to get this going, quite simple. I want to begin off with the simplest, most important part the storage before we do anything. And the reason I'm going like that and I'm taking it out just because of it being such a big quarry for one but I want all of these to extract Oop. insert on the priority Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Reason being, while I'm doing it right now, and I'll drop down thirteen. Eleven, nine, seven, and five. While it's going, it'll fill this up first. Well, empty it out of this. Go into this one. From this one, I'll go into this one. From this one, it carries on. So it will fill this up with every single all that it possibly can first, then before moving on to that one. Then, as you can see, the generators don't want to stack. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. As you can see, it just. Whoosh. Spike. It destroys power. Another thing you could do is you could also put a bucket of water in the corner. down it will spread so any lava it comes across it turns it into obsidian which is a bonus but each terrain and you can see it keeps up really well with the amount of like power I'm inputting any amount of items that are coming out. So, yeah, this is going to go, this is going to do whatever. But it's also a square. Like I say, I cannot work with even and odds. It's got to be square or whatever. But it's a square because of the way I've done it. Should be square. 
And as you can see there is glitch blocks. We also have a chicken in there. It is impressive to see it work. Especially with the mini-map. Never seen that before. But anyway, that's just going to go. Yeah, it's going to run out of power. Look at that. It's a beast. Already we have how much dirt? If my game were to respond. Ooh. Definitely like Spike. Jeez, we've already got loads of dirt. It's kind of just impressive to see the quarry go. I thought my game had frozen then. Let me guess. Dad. Jesus. Probably should have put a few barrels on top of this and set it to. Ooh. Oh, it's already reaching stone. It doesn't bother me. We have a nice, sufficient amount of power. If I make a test route sooner on down the line, quarries will become nothing. I remember once I built a quarry. Mm, oof. Call me insane. This was in the overworld. It was a 250 by 250 and I was doing four of them one at a time but I actually had to hook it up to Tesseract with it was generated and I think it was 5.6 million RF per tick yeah it was immense but I was running about four ME systems, the huge quarry in the overworld. I think it was four quarries in the mining dimension and a few buildcraft quarries in the mining dimension. Yeah, I was insane on the world. I don't have it no more, but. It was one of my best. And I was making the. It was 250 by 250, so 250, 250, that's 500 by 500. Yeah, I was working on making it a huge mob farm. So in the center, which I already marked out. So it was 250, skip block 250. Now that's running out of power, isn't it? Yeah. There's 250 by 250. And then skip a block, 250 by 250. So at the end of the day, it would have actually been 501 by 501. So in the very center, I had it marked out. And actually run the quarry in the center it was a huge square but it was about 27 uh, not day uh, not hours days 27 days 20, uh, I was about 40 days in thinking about it like real life days it was quite a lengthy project I was finishing last quarry because I had to run it a few times 
No, it wasn't 27th, it was 37th. But yeah, it was quite immense. It was working perfectly fine. I had to cover the whole area with a cast substance that removed all the blocks of water, all the lava blocks. The ender quarries were absolutely... They were a lifesaver. I'll put it that way. But to run the ME system, I had to put, oh god, countless amount of banks on there with 64k drives, which at that time I was rich on there. <laughs> the mine dimensions ruined. Put it this way, the quarry I had on there was roughly going on a thousand by thousand. But yeah, my game decides to have frozen. Okay. And it's frozen again. Okay. So, yeah, sorry I rambled on there for quite some time, but when, uh, it looks like the game's gonna crash. So I'm going to take that as a note to say, oh, no, it's still lagging. I'm going to take it as a note to say, I hope you have a good day, hope you have a good night, whatever you